Have you ever wondered why relations between the West and Arabs have been so complex and tumultuous over the years? This video aims to shed light on this intricate history, unraveling the various factors that have shaped these interactions. We'll delve into the historical encounters, challenge prevailing stereotypes, and emphasize the importance of fostering understanding. Misconceptions and broad generalizations are not the whole picture. Now let's dive into the annals of history to understand the roots of this intricate relationship. The West and the Arab world have been intertwined for centuries, dating back to the era of colonialism. This period, spanning from the late 15th to the 20th century, saw Western powers exerting control over vast territories in the Arab world. This control was not merely physical, it extended to the social, political, and economic domains, shaping the perceptions and interactions between these two regions. The colonial era was followed by a series of political alliances, driven by strategic interests and the desire for power. The West saw the Arab world as an essential ally in the political chessboard, contributing to the complex web of relationships we see today. These alliances were not without their fair share of conflicts and disagreements, further complicating the dynamics between the West and the Arab world. Parallel to these political alliances were the cultural exchanges that took place. The Arab world's rich tapestry of arts, literature, and philosophy found a keen audience in the West, leading to a cross-pollination of ideas and aesthetics. Western literature, music, and art also found their way into the Arab world, influencing its cultural landscape. These exchanges, while often overlooked, played a significant role in shaping mutual perceptions and attitudes. Finally, economic ties have also been a significant factor in this historical encounter. The discovery of oil in the Arab world in the 20th century led to a profound shift in the global economic balance. The West's reliance on Arab oil and the Arab world's dependence on Western technology and capital have created a complex interplay of power dynamics. These historical encounters have left an indelible mark on the relationship between these two regions, influencing perceptions and attitudes. They have shaped the way the West and the Arab world view each other, setting the stage for the interactions we see today. As we delve deeper into this complex relationship, it's essential to keep this historical context in mind. It provides the backdrop against which we can better understand the current dynamics and work towards fostering understanding and cooperation. Stereotypes and misconceptions have unfortunately played a significant role in shaping perceptions between the West and the Arab world. Let's dive into the crux of the matter. Stereotypes. They are often born out of misunderstanding, fear, or a lack of knowledge. For instance, certain individuals might perceive the Arab world as being entirely desert, with people living in tents and riding camels. This is a rather simplistic and reductionist view. The Arab world is rich in cultural diversity with bustling metropolises, state-of-the-art infrastructure, and diverse landscapes. On the other side of the coin, some people might assume that the Western world is all about fast food, rampant consumerism, and a lack of traditional values. Again, this is a gross oversimplification. The West is a melting pot of diverse cultures with a rich history and a deep appreciation for the arts and sciences. Misconceptions, just like stereotypes, are also detrimental. They can lead to false assumptions and create unnecessary divisions. A common misconception about the Arab world is that it's synonymous with Islam. While Islam is the predominant religion, not all Arabs are Muslims and not all Muslims are Arabs. Similarly, the West isn't solely defined by Christianity, as it's home to a multitude of religions, beliefs, and philosophies. These stereotypes and misconceptions distort our understanding of each other, creating an imaginary divide that hinders mutual respect and cooperation. They ignore the fact that both the West and the Arab world are made up of diverse individuals, each with their own unique experiences and perspectives. However, it's crucial to remember that these stereotypes and misconceptions do not define us. They are not the whole truth, but rather a distorted fragment of it. By recognizing and challenging these views, we can break down the walls of prejudice and build bridges of understanding. We must also remember that individuals are not monolithic representations of their cultures or regions. People are complex and multifaceted, and it's essential to respect this complexity when seeking to understand each other. By challenging these misconceptions, we can work towards building bridges of understanding and cooperation. 
With so much division and misunderstanding, how can we start to build bridges between the West and the Arab world? The answer lies in the power of dialogue, cultural exchange, and education. Building bridges starts with open dialogue, where we listen to understand, not to respond. It's about having conversations that might be difficult but necessary. When we engage in respectful discourse, we can begin to see the world from different perspectives, fostering mutual understanding and respect. Cultural exchange is another powerful tool in bridging gaps. When we immerse ourselves in different cultures, we learn to appreciate the richness and diversity of human experiences. Whether it's through food, music, art, or literature, cultural exchange helps us to see beyond our differences and discover shared values and common ground. Education, too, plays a crucial role in promoting understanding. By learning about each other's histories, traditions, and values, we can challenge stereotypes and misconceptions. Many initiatives are already underway in this regard, from exchange programs and cultural festivals to academic research and collaborative projects. These efforts are not just about promoting understanding, but also about fostering cooperation. When we understand and appreciate each other, we are more likely to collaborate and work towards common goals. By fostering empathy and breaking down barriers, we can create a more inclusive world where everyone can coexist peacefully. Let's remember that our diversity is not a threat, but a strength that can enrich our global community. In conclusion, the relationship between the West and the Arab world is a complex one shaped by history, politics, economics, and cultural exchanges. As we've discovered throughout this exploration, these interactions have significantly influenced perceptions on both sides. It's crucial to remember that these historical encounters, while important, do not define the entirety of the relationship. Stereotypes and misconceptions, while prevalent, are the views of a minority, and they should be actively challenged. We've also discussed the importance of fostering understanding and cooperation. Through open dialogue, cultural appreciation and empathy, we can break down barriers that have long existed. The narrative of the West and the Arab world is not one-sided, but one that involves the interplay of many factors. By acknowledging this complexity, we can better navigate our global community. By promoting understanding and cooperation, we can work together to create a more harmonious